Hey, it's Jacob. I'm very excited to show you the app that we've been working on and that we've been using for quite some time now. It identifies minifigures and um, yeah, for example, if we want to identify this figure, we can take a picture of it. And the app, the app uh, identifies the torso, you can see it. The app identifies the torso and gives us some suggestions. And now it's easy to see. Um, this is the front and this is the back of the torso. So we compare the front and the back and that looks correct. And now we can see all minifigures that share the same torso. In this case it's only two. It's this one. And yeah, we now we already have the Bricklink ID. We can see its inventory. And um, add it to our collection. I and other Bricklink sellers have been using this app and we've identified over 6,500 minifigures already and it's a lot more fun and we've saved a lot of time because before for example to identify this minifigure I would need to come up with search terms. I was using for example Bricklink or Brickstore um, so I would need to search for, in this case I know J, so I would search for J and then I would scroll through lists of minifigures and trying to find the correct one. and. Um, Sometimes it's really difficult, especially if I haven't seen a minifigure before, then it's difficult to know, okay, how, how do I search for it, what's its name? So, yeah, and with the app, ideally it just takes a few seconds. Let's identify some more minifigures to see how it works. So the app identifies torsos, so the torso shouldn't be occluded. And then we can just take an image of it. And um, it should work either way. But for most accuracy, you can try to line up the outline with the torso, but it should also work if you do it like this, for example. Oh, I hope you were able to see it, but yeah. So, these are the suggestions. So the app thinks these could be the torsos. And here is already the correct torso, um, the front and the back of the torso, so that's correct. Um, you can see the name, the color, and the external IDs. And when you press that's correct and start building, then we can see all the minifigures that share the same torso. In this case, it's only one. So let's just press on it. And um, yeah, we can see the inventory. Um, we can see that light gray arms and yellow hands belong to the assembly. That's nice, light gray legs and hips. We can see these in the head looks correct but we could also check external sides to to make sure that we have the correct one and ideally um, if you have a good camera you could um, submit new images but yeah so we can check everything and then save it to our collection and also if we wouldn't have everything so for example if we, we, it would be like this then we can save it uh, as well and then it will just show us, okay, we have the assembly, the part in the middle with arms and hands, plus one extra part, in this case, the legs. So we can do all that. Let's do it again. So here, this is also this one. Front and back, it looks good. And in this case, it's difficult because here, 32 minifigures share the same. Oh, I hope you can see everything. Share the same torso. So, and this is really difficult. It would be really tedious to to figure out which one is the correct one. So we can turn on Smart Build, which makes it a lot easier. So, and we can see all 32 minifigures share the same assembly. So it's always black arms and yellow hands. We have that as well, so we can select it. Then for legs, 28 have black legs. So 28 have black legs, that's why I said it. Um, and four have uh, dark bluish gray legs. We have black legs, so we can select that. And for the heads, um, yeah, the first one already looks correct. This one. And the, we have this, this sort of um, head. And this is our minifigure, and yeah, and we already got it. Let's
Let's keep going. Um, okay, the first ones all look quite good. But this one is the only one that doesn't have a lot of color ring at the top, so this one looks correct. And in this case, we would like to show um, images such as this one with a front and back. But for some torsos, we don't have that, so we need to show other images like these. And um, yeah. But we can submit images to improve the database to, to make the app better. I'll do that later, I, I can show you. Um, yeah, so 14 possible figures, and um, they are sorted um, by value descending, so approximate value. So yeah, let's do it with Smartfold again. This looks good. Black uh, hips looks good. For the head, we have uh, the left one, and this should be our yes, this should be our helmet. And now. And now these figures are still possible. Seven out of 14 it was before, I think. And um, this seems to be the correct one because it doesn't have any extra parts. Um, yeah. So we can select it, but I also want to say that we're um, changing it such that uh, there's a marking, like a check mark, that this one is complete. So this will hopefully be there in two weeks. So it will be part of the app, but yeah. For now, this is how it works, or for this demo, <laughs> and uh, yeah, this this is how it works. And uh, maybe let me, um, yes, let me show show it with um, this because of course, right now I've only um, identified full um, minifigures, complete minifigures. But of course, we can also um, because it only identifies torsos, we can also do it like this and just identify the torso. Um, and we say, okay, we only have this assembly black arms, yellow hands, and then we can see it like this in our collection. So for this torso, we didn't have the correct, um, oh yeah, let's, let me, let me go to the torso. We didn't have the, um, we didn't have good images, so I just want to show you how, how to submit something like this, because this is crucial for the app to work properly, also for the det detection. Um, so yeah, here we can see it's a black, um, uh, yeah, blah, a red, dot which means we still need images so we can extremely helpful because next time i'm going to scan this or anyone scans this torso we'll have a lot we'll have uh, the images so that the app shows will be a lot better uh, which is really nice so just submit and that's done we've submitted the feedback for this particular torso and um, yeah So these were the basic features and there are a few more things that you can do. So you can see your collection, um, show only the figures. You can add friends and see what they are scanning. So for example, this is what a friend of mine scanned recently. And um, for example, or and you can export your collection as an XML file and then use it with, for example, Brickstore um, for your workflow. If you want to test the app yourself, it's an open beta right now, so you can download it already. Um, and I'll put the links into the video description. But you could also, or you could also go to um, this website, brickmonkey.app, and um, get it on Google Play if you're a, uh, an Android user, or download the iOS app. And to do that, you need to install TestFlight first because it's the open beta; it's not a full release. Um, that's how it works for for iOS. My goal is to create the most useful app for LEGO resellers and collectors. And um, yeah, I already have a long list of features that I want to implement that I think would be really useful. Um, so for example, right now the app only detects uh, torsos, but um, identifying heads is also super difficult and so I'm working on that. Um, also here, um, you can see your collection. I would like to have some cool statistics, for example, how many minifigures you have, how, how many minifigures from year 2005 you have, how many Star Wars figures, all, all that stuff. Um, identify legs as well. So there's quite a lot of stuff to do. If you have any uh, ideas, please let me know. Um, and um, yeah, I'm planning to use this channel 
this YouTube channel to keep you updated. So for example, when a new version with the new features releases, uh, then I'll create a video to let you know. So if you're interested in it, please subscribe. And um, yeah, I hope next time I'll get a better camera. <laughs> Sorry for the quality uh, this time. And um, yeah, if you want to download the app, uh, links are in the description. And um, I'm really excited about your feedback because it's crucial to improve the app. And um, yeah, that's it from me. Bye-bye.